This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by... What do you think? Is the, is the number of free staters moving to New Hampshire increasing per month or decreasing? Or is it about the same? Um, the number of signups per year, is that up or is it down uh, from last year? Is it up or down from five years ago? Uh, uh, spotting and tracking these numbers will give us a clearer sense of how we're doing and what our fate is going to be. Knowing your fate helps you make decisions. One thing it's important to uh, point out is New Hampshireites, uh, when they vote, often, uh, so, someone once, I think someone at the union leader once said, uh, when free staters come to New Hampshire, it's going to change them more than they change it. And um, that wasn't an insult. It was kind of true because if you look at the instincts of New Hampshire voters, they are often, uh, in, in a way, more pro-liberty than those of the people who are moving here. Uh, for instance, in 2004, you saw New Hampshireites uh, vote, you know, for John Kerry for president. I think most free staters probably wouldn't have done that. Um, but looking back historically, uh, it probably would have been a more pro-liberty result if John Kerry had been president as opposed to George Bush, because the guy didn't get much done. Uh, and in, if you look at 08, they voted for Obama. Of course, he's awful, but I think he was better than McCain would have been. And they're leaning toward Obama again. And again, I think Obama would be better than uh, than Romney would be. Um, and, and of course, there's a complex algorithm that kind of goes into play here when I say that. It's not that he's a better president or better man. It's, just that it's sort of better for liberty because Obama creates the correct type of backlash. He's not like Hillary Clinton who makes people want to go out and blow things up. He's not like... Um, uh, Mitt Romney, who's going to start you know, World War III, although I guess Obama might start it too, but I think R Romney is just more likely to do that. McCain was more likely to do that. Again, the instincts of New Hampshireites, uh, you know, in their national voting patterns are worth watching, and they're sometimes worth imitating. But anyway, um, the, uh, the, the, the relevancy of that is, of course, uh, well, with Obama leading so heavily in New Hampshire, he's going to have some coattails in New Hampshire, even if he doesn't win the election. That's going to tend to drag Democrats into the House. And uh, even more disastrous, you know, it, it, on the national scene, Romney might actually win the presidency, which will result in an anti-Romney backlash, probably, in uh, two years, which would again hurt the free staters. It would be a, a, a double whammy against Republicans. Because most free staters uh, run as Republicans. Bad, 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 bad. Well, I mean, bad that they could get massacred. But anyway, <clears throat> and the final point of concern, have you noticed, is it just me, but I just, I don't really see as much activity over the last couple, three months, or few months, or whatever, as maybe we might have had uh, earlier in the year. Maybe that's just a short-term downward trend, but um, we have to keep our activities le uh, activity levels up in order to keep growing. And to keep growing, we must be green. If we're ripe, we're dying. But anyway, all the news is not bad. Uh, there have been certain good things that have happened. The, the, the Reason Magazine has sort of practically adopted us now. We're getting a lot of pub publicity in Reason Magazine, I guess probably partly as a result of things we've done over the last few years. There was a time, you know, I guess in September, when I typed in the word Free State Project into news.google. Dot com and it was just there was a lot of different stories Huffington Post Reason Magazine other you know media major media reporting on us so we have gotten more and more traction in the mainstream press and that's really important I had uh, I guess the best month ever uh, for the Ridley Report in September uh, but it was mainly because of uh, one of my old videos getting picked up and get, getting a lot of attention. It's possible, too, that I may have now outstripped Channel 9 uh, on uh, YouTube. I may be more popular on YouTube than Channel 9, which would make me the most popular YouTube channel in the state. But we're getting these bumps as a result of things we did a long time ago. Free Talk Live also getting a lot of bumps. But I'm just starting, I'm starting to worry about our downstream, I'm starting to worry about little things that are not going right right now that really may hurt us down the road. So, anyway, just my analysis of kind of what's going on or what the numbers are looking like with, for the Free State Project. If you can give me better numbers or more data, then put it in the comments section. Thanks. 
Egypt people is very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene and sort of kind of cut spending cause the government needs some expensive things like the wasteful 34 West building and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers and other people who could be considered swearers freaking.com